guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Taco Rick channel. If you could not tell from the title of the video and the thumbnail, the purpose of today is washing my brand new 2020 Tacoma. I have actually not washed or detailed my truck yet. I've washed it using like touchless car washes and stuff. Never ever go to a touch car wash. Like the ones with the brushes and the sponges, don't go to them. You're gonna scratch the shit out of your paint. It's just, don't do it. If you're gonna go to a car wash, touchless washes. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a full detail on the truck today and I'm basically going to be walking you guys through how I wash and detail my vehicles. And I say cars because back in high school, obviously on Saturdays and Fridays I was DJing, but on uh, Sundays I detailed cars to make a little bit more money. And I learned everything from compounding, polishing, how to do the two bucket method, uh, wheels, tires, interior, you name it, I've learned how to basically uh, fully detail cars. So today I'm going to be showing you guys that full process on my 2020 Tacoma. Before we head on over to where I actually wash the truck, there's like a little area where they have a hose hooked up basically and you can wash your vehicles in this giant apartment complex that I live at which is dope and very convenient. Let me show you all the cleaning tools and supplies that I use to basically detail the exteriors of my vehicles. Also, wearing the tank top because if you can't tell, I need to get some sun. All right, so right here on the tailgate is everything that I use for a general wash on my truck or any vehicle that I'm going to be washing. These are the main products I use as well as a couple products um, that I'll explain that are new that I'm trying out that I'm super excited for because they're going to make things a lot easier. You probably can tell one of them right there. Obviously, everything I show on this is going to be linked in the description down below if you guys would like to purchase it as well. I'm going to start by going through the items that I'm going to basically be using in the order I'm going to be using them on the whole entire wash throughout the next couple hours. Yes, this process is going to take a couple hours. Um, at least I'm a perfectionist, so it takes a while to do it. Especially, I got big big rims and big luggy tires. They take a while to get clean. But speaking of that, the first thing that I always clean on my vehicles is the rims, the tires, and the fender wells. So that is basically where we're gonna start. And as you see here, I have three buckets. These two buckets are for the wash. This bucket is specifically for my wheels and my fender wells and my tires because that's where all the dirt and the mud are and I don't wanna get it on my paint. So this is my wheel bucket and I have a variety of different brushes. I have this long handled brush. I use this one a lot, love that brush. Got some more fine ones to get around. Love nuts as you guys can see these are just paint brushes that I've basically destroyed I have some metal brushes in here I don't typically use these um, but sometimes depending on the vehicle sometimes you need some metal brushes to get some of that gunk off again rarely use them normally I'm using uh, this fine brush right here which is just some nylon bristles this is normally all the more I need got this one to get in between the spokes got this one as well to get between the spokes and behind the rim and then I have basically a shorter version of this long brush right here so this this is my wheel bucket, just a variety of different brushes to get inside of all the different areas inside of those rims. Obviously, lots of different areas, all rims are different, so I have a variety of brushes depending on what vehicle I'm cleaning. In terms of the cleaning products that I use for my wheels and tires, I use basically this right here. This is the, the only soap that I use, and you can't really see because I got some spray paint on it, but this is Chemical Guys Extra Maxi Suds 2. I'll link this in the description down below. It's awesome. I use it a lot mostly because it works really well with this over here which we'll get to in a second but I basically put this inside the bucket and then I spray on the rims themselves this cleaner right here this cleaner is awesome been using this for I don't know like six years it's the Sonics acid-free wheel cleaner it's amazing it gets like brake dust like no tomorrow off it, it literally works amazing I like it because you spray it on and it sprays on green as you'll see when we clean the rims and then it turns purple when it's pulled the dirt off the surface and the brake dust and then you can spray it off and clean it off which is awesome now one one thing while I'm doing the wheels and tires or right after the wheels and tires, I don't do it on every single vehicle. I am going to be doing it on my Tacoma today because I like to detail all these areas, but uh, that's the engine bay. So I typically do detail my engine bay and I use one particular cleaner for that and it's called Purple Power, but it's not straight Purple Power. So in this bottle right here is a 50-50 mix of Purple Power, which is basically an industrial degreaser and water. So that is what I use on the engine bay. You'll see basically I spray it all over the engine bay. Let let it sit, use some brushes real quick to clean them off, and then I spray it off. So we'll see that later on, but engine bay is another thing that I detail sometimes. Now, moving on to the tools for actually washing the exterior, basically the normal part of the vehicle. Got a variety of different things here. So first off, we have my general hose 
hose tap here. It's got the shower and the jet, my two favorite features. Just the basic hose tap. The hose is actually over at the facility. I do have a separate hose if I need longer distance, but just a general spray nozzle comes in very much handy. I don't have the ability to run a pressure washer, otherwise I would. They work a lot better than just general water pressure. And then also beside it is one of my favorite tools ever. This is a foam gun. Uh, we use the max suds, you'll see, but this thing is awesome. It works off just straight tap water. It's got settings on here for how much actual foam you want coming out versus water. This thing is literally awesome. I love using this tool to clean the vehicle. It, it's just awesome. So I already mentioned it, but my uh, soap of choice is Chemical Guys Extreme Maxi Suds 2.0 love this soap it's awesome i buy it in bulk as you guys can see two general things that i use the clean exterior of the vehicle this right here is a bug uh sponge this thing is awesome especially if you drive a lot of highway miles and you get a lot of bugs on the front of your vehicle this basically has a mesh on it that helps remove those bugs really easily love it and then i have a mitt so this is just the wool mitt and that's uh what i use basically to clean the exterior of the vehicle so that's kind of the cleaning stuff obviously we have the two bucket method two different colors this is always my rinse bucket this is always my soap and water bucket i'll explain the two bucket method when we get to washing the vehicle variety of different microfiber towels down here these are like my old ones i use these for like the wheels the tires and the bottom pieces that are really dirty these are my window towels they're really fine they work really well for doing windows and then i have big blue Blue ones and big yellow ones these are for washing these are for drying love these towels i pick them up at sam's club but i'll link down in the description down below where you can buy them as well now to the last products you see on here and these are kind of the detailing uh, products that I use well some of them I'm trying so this right here is one of the things I'm super excited to try it's the Merguiar's uh, ceramic wax the hydro ceramic wax supposedly you just spray this on well there's there's some instructions but we spray this on at the end and then we'll have literally a ceramic coating on the vehicle I've been used to using synthetic waxes polishes for the longest time so I'm super excited to see how well this works if it like holds up to like what wax can do um, because that would be amazing and this thing the way you apply this and use it It's super simple. So super excited to use that. These are some of my other detailing products that I use I've got rain glass cleaner That's what I use obviously to coat all of my windows. This right here is what I use for all of my black plastics I love this product been using it for years. I actually have like three bottles of this um, This stuff works awesome. Love it keeps the trim looking great next up to that is for the tires now This is what I normally use just because it's cheap it doesn't last long, but it's cheap. It gets the job done. It's super easy to apply. I use this like 90% of the time, again, because it's cheap. It works. It's easy to apply. It's great. But I'm going to give this a shot. I saw this when I was picking up some of the supplies I was short on. Chemical Guys, Tire Kicker, Tire Shine, Extra Shine, Dry to the Touch. That is interesting to me because this is a wet tire shine. It doesn't really dry and it kind of slings a little bit if you put too much on the tires. So I'm really interested to see how well this works um, and how easy it is to apply. So that is another thing I'm gonna be trying out today. But anyways, let's go on over and let's get started with washing the 2020 Tacoma for the very, very first time. I forgot to mention, sometimes I use a clay bar kit. It depends on the vehicle. My truck is brand new, so I'm not expecting to have to use the clay bar. So I'm just basically going to test out the paint, give a little feel after I finish the initial wash to see if it actually needs clay barred or not. Maybe we'll do a separate video on how to clay bar a vehicle, but don't expect to use it today. All right, we are at the car washing spot right there is the hose that we get to use for the water. So the first step on any car wash, one, is to have your Bluetooth headphones. So that way you can listen to music and jam out while you're doing your car wash. But two, uh, inspect the vehicle. So we're going to go around and inspect the vehicle and see how dirty the 2020 Tacoma is. Like I said, I have been doing touch washes or touchless, touchless washes here and there, um, but let's do a walkthrough and basically I want to observe where all the dirt is so that way I know how to tackle this. All right, so the sides, pretty clear, pretty clear. Wheels are very dirty to say the least, but that's good. We have a lot of bugs, a lot, a lot. I don't even know if that's coming through on camera, but the front end has a lot of bugs. A lot of bugs we're gonna have to clean off. Like I said, wheels and tires are pretty dirty, but the paint for the most side, more more bugs obviously on the side mirrors and the windshield. But for the most part, the sides seem to be fairly clean, which is good news. So this would be easy. So now to start the wash, we need to prepare our buckets. All three buckets to be exact. We have the wheel bucket over here, so we're gonna get that ready to go. The soap and water bucket, which will be our white one from AutoZone, and the water only bucket, which will be the blue one. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put some wash fluid inside of this bucket, which will be our wheel bucket, and I'm gonna put some inside of our bucket for the soap and water. So now we fill up the buckets one by one. And bucket number two. And water only. With the buckets all full, first step now is to hose off the wheels and tire well. So I'm gonna set you guys up on time lapse and I'm gonna hose them off and we'll move on from there. All right, so as you saw, I sprayed off the wheels, sprayed off the tires. I also sprayed the underbody while I was at it. And uh, off camera, but I pulled out my spare fifth wheel tire because I'm also gonna be doing a rotation on my tires. It's been 5,000 miles and uh, I do a five tire rotation full size spare, full size tire, full size normal rim. So I do a five tire rotation. Stay tuned for that video as well on how to do a five tire rotation. Should be interesting. But I went ahead and dropped it, pulled it out so that way I could clean it while doing this so that way it's already clean when we go to the rotation. So now that the, they're sprayed off, next thing is we're gonna take the Sonic spray, but we're gonna take the Sonic spray and we're gonna go one tire at a time. Basically going to, I'm gonna wet them again because it's kind of hot out and the, the tires are already, already kind of dry. I don't know if you can see it over there. So we're gonna wet them at once again, spray this down, mostly hitting the rim i'm also going to spray the tire just because i can but mostly hitting the rim i'm going to let it sit there for probably like a minute or two and then i will go ahead and start scrubbing basically with the using all the brushes in the tire wheel bucket i'm going to go ahead and just basically go at it and clean the rims and then the tires and then move on to the next one so let's get at it As you guys can see, it goes on green. And uh, if you have really dirty rims, this will actually turn purple to show you that there was brake dust there. You actually can kind of see it back on the rotors. It's already turned like purple, showing that it's basically pulling that brake dust out of the actual metal or the surface. For the most part, my front of my rims don't really get much brake dust on them, which I'm thankful about. But on the backside they do, and obviously on the caliper. But it's kind of a cool thing to look at. All right, so that is one wheel done. Just wanted to kind of point out, I'm using this big long brush here to clean all the inner fender wells and also the tire itself. This is basically a harsh kind of brush, so I don't really want to use this on my actual rim itself because it, it might put some micro scratches on it and whatnot, but I use that for the most part. And then uh, this is the other brush I use. This is more of my softer brush. I use this on the inside of the rim to get up in there where the, the stronger brake dust is. It's got the mesh to it. Then I use this on the actual rim itself. And then I finish it up with a rag. And if you guys are noticing, I use ample soap. So just literally dipping it back in, putting more soap on. I want to keep as much lubrication as I'm cleaning as possible so I potentially don't scratch the rim. So moving on to the passenger rear tire and then we'll do the driver's side and then we'll move on to the engine bay and then we'll move on to actually the exterior of the truck. Again, it's a long process. All right, so we are on to the engine bay now. Now the engine bay is actually fairly straightforward. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start the engine. And uh, one reason for that is so that when water gets on like some of the components that normally get hot, it just instantly steams up and evaporates. But also one thing that we're gonna be doing is basically first I'm gonna spray down the engine um, with water and I'm going to be avoiding the battery, avoiding the alternator and not trying to directly hit them with water. It's okay to like spray down your engine bay. Um, you just don't wanna directly hit your battery terminals and a few other things like your alternator, your breaker box if it's exposed. On newer vehicles, they're pretty much all sealed off really well. So you don't really have to worry about it, just like in this case. But basically gonna start the engine, spray it down. Then I'm gonna hit with the Purple Power water mixture. I'm gonna scrub it a little bit with one of the brushes just to get some of the plastic shined up a little bit. And then I'm gonna hose it down one more time, let the engine run for like 15 minutes or so. Um, so that way it kind of dries it off and then it'll be done. Pretty straightforward. So with the engine all sprayed off, this would normally be the time where I would take either some compressed air or like a leaf blower to blow out the engine so like blow out all the water. I unfortunately don't have that convenience. Um, I haven't, I don't have like a leaf blower. Uh, I need to buy one honestly and I also don't have compressed air here. I have compressed air at my garage. So um, I pretty much just take a rag, wipe it down and let the engine run for like 15 minutes. It'll dry naturally and it'll be fine. So that's what I'm going to do now. 
I'm also not too entirely worried about the engine bay because we're about to wash the ex exterior of the car anyway, so water's gonna get down in there anyways. Another reason why I'm not concerned. But while that is running, we need to prepare probably the, my favorite tool in this whole entire car wash, the foam cannon. So this is the foam cannon. I'll link it in the description down below, but this thing is awesome. So I've already been using this today. This is the canister. Then you have the straw, the top, and the quick release attachment, which is dope. So that's on there, and then you activate it like that. What I'm gonna be doing is putting the straw on here. We're gonna take our soap. We're gonna pour some into the jug. Not a lot, just enough to kind of cover the bottom. And then we're gonna mix in about halfway full of water into this canister. Right there we go. Hook this up to the hose and then attach it to this and we're good to go. I always run on the E setting, which I believe is the most amount of suds that you can get out of this. So let's spray down the truck. All right, I'm gonna explain this really quickly because uh, this is not the ideal time to wash your car. There's direct sunlight, which is terrible. Basically, you gotta use a lot of water, which I'm not concerned about because the water's free here. But I'm gonna start at the least dirty spot here. So that is the roof. I'm gonna work from the roof to the windshield, to the hood, to the sides. And then I'm going to do the front, the sides, and basically work my way. You'll see, but I'm gonna work my way around the vehicle in sections. And then basically after I do a section, I'm gonna have to spray the whole thing off again just so that I can keep water and keep the actual paint cool while doing this. That's why I'm explaining this quickly so that I can get going and uh, working fast on this. But two bucket methods. So what you do is, so take your mitt full of suds, you're gonna wipe down the section, then come back over to the bucket, put it in the water, wring it out completely, then you're gonna put more soap on it and repeat. And basically I'm doing that for every section. So grab the soapy rag, do a section, rinse it back off. God, there's cars everywhere. But take the rag, get it nice and soapy, do a section, rinse it off, get all the dirt off of it in the rinse bucket, get new suds and repeat so just keep doing that all the way around the vehicle and uh i'm gonna get at it so let's go i forgot to mention um straight lines when you're uh cleaning your vehicle never do this motion you want to go straight lines up down left right do that don't don't do swirls you'll, you'll leave swirl marks that's why they're called swirls anyways we're gonna be working on the front now i'm sorry for the audio but i'm gonna be working on the front and you'll see me use the bug sponge so let's do it Remember when I said uh, I may or may not have the clay bar of this? Turns out I do. That uh, the roof is really gritty. So uh, what a clay bar does is basically when you drive your vehicle for a long time and you don't have like a protection on it, which I didn't, or maybe you have wax on it, it doesn't matter. But over time you'll develop, it's like a, it feels like sandpaper. That's the best way, like a light sandpaper. And uh, I can feel it on my roof. And definitely if you have like just been car wash near at local car washes, you definitely probably have this on your paint. But if you feel your paint and it's not smooth, like buttery smooth, then you need to clay bar your car. Especially if you're gonna be putting on something like a wax or a ceramic wax or a sealant. I'm putting on ceramic wax, so what I'm gonna have to do, I hate doing it, I gotta stop what I'm doing here, drive quickly down to my garage, get my clay bar, come back here, finish clay barring it, then ceramic wax, then dry. Ah, my God! All right, I got my clay bar kit. I don't normally use Mother's. Normally, I use the Meguiar's version. All they had at the store was Mother's when I went to go buy this the day before doing this. So this is the clay bar kit we're gonna be using to give you some instant detailer as well. Not necessary. Also another microfiber. This is what we need, clay bars. What this is, is a bar of clay. Very straightforward, right? Yeah, I know. Here is the big bar of clay. And actually I have used ones at home. The only downside about this is you normally only get about four bars out of one of these kits and they're like 20 bucks, which kind of sucks. So here's the clay bar. What you're gonna want is take a little bit off of this. We don't need a lot, Something like that. That's what we're gonna be using. And we'll hold the rest for the next car or whatnot. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be using uh, the soap water. We're gonna apply the soap water and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna go back and forth over the surface lightly. We're not putting force or anything down. We're using the soapy water to lubricate in between straight line motions. And what that's gonna do is remove the gunk and you'll actually see it on the thing. We're gonna be doing very small areas too, maybe at the max two foot by two foot. And then we're going to take the clay bar and we're going to basically mat it around like this to remove the gunk. 
and get us a fresh surface to use. So let's go ahead and let's get started. And I'll demonstrate on the hood just cause it's easier to show. And then I'm gonna get working on the, uh, the roof which is where it really needs it. So again, we're gonna take the soapy water, get a nice bit on here. Then we're gonna take our clay bar and we're going to do straight line motions back and forth. You're gonna to wanna to overlap as well. This is all you do, just back and forth, left and right. No swirl marks. And there wasn't much gunk on that one. You can't really see on this, but when I get to the roof, I'll show you guys how much gunk comes off the roof because I guarantee there's gonna be a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, quickly clay bar the whole entire vehicle. So enjoy this time lapse as I go ahead and go over pretty much the whole entire vehicle. That way we can get to the ceramic wax. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, this right here, do not drop it. You drop this on the ground, just throw it out. It's, it's done for. Because this right here picks up all the little micro bits of dirt that are on your vehicle. That's why you have to keep going this every time you do a pass so that way you can get some fresh clay. But if you drop this on the ground and it picks up all that sand, debris, dirt, this is over with. Just throw it out, get yourself a new piece, and continue. So, gonna get at it. All right, so now it's time to apply the Meguiar's Hydric Hybrid Ceramic Wax. So this is a ceramic coating. It's not like a full-on ceramic coating, but it is a ceramic coating. And what I'm excited about is how easy it is to apply this. So a lot of people screw, screw this up too. They don't read the actual directions. Most people think that you just spray this on before you rinse, and then you rinse off your vehicle and you're done. That is what you do after you apply it the first time. This being the first application of this, what I need to do is one, rinse the vehicle thoroughly. I need to rinse it completely off, which um, I need to do here. And then we're going to apply this. We're gonna apply it all over the vehicle, and then we're just gonna straight up dry the vehicle. That's all we're gonna do. If this was my second application, what we would do is rinse thoroughly, apply this, and then rinse the car off again, and then dry it. So there's a, there's a little step in there that you have to do the first time. And the reason why you leave it on there the first time and then you dry it off, is to get the initial coating applied into the paint. Then after that, the, the surface has already kind of got its tack basically of ceramic coating, it's got its tack. So every wash after that, all you do is just spray it on, rinse it off and you're done. Because that tack layer is already on there that you worked in the first time. So let's go ahead, I'm going to basically rinse off the vehicle completely, apply this and dry it off. Let's go. So I did forget to mention on the clay bar, you can do clay barring on anything. You can do it on plastic, you can do it on the windows. So feel free to do it on all different surfaces. All right, so uh, this cut off at some point in the middle of filming, but um, I'm done. That was a pain in the butt. They basically said you have to like work it in and they were not joking when you have to work it in. It also doesn't help that um, it's hot out here and it's also direct sunlight and also I'm burnt as you can tell, but that didn't help. So one thing that I noticed though, it shines up plastics, which is kind of dope. All the plastics are like shiny again, so I don't have to use the outlet on them. I definitely need to go get more towels when we drive it back over. I'm sorry for the wind noise, but I gotta get more towels and dry this off more. So I'm gonna pack up everything and I'll meet you guys back at the garage. All right, so some time has passed and I was waiting basically until the sun sort of started to set. So that way we had some shade to put on the tire dressing as well as do the windows. So those are the last two things and a little bit of plastic work. So basically down to the nitty gritty details of the exterior. I'm gonna get started and try out this new product that I haven't tried before, the tire kicker tire shine. I want to note on the on the hydric hybrid on the hybrid uh, ceramic wax. It turned out great. Like it looks I'll get some dope photos here in a bit, but it looks great. It looks awesome. Other than having to buff the crap out of it to get it in on the first application, um it's pretty dope. And I'm assuming now that we got the base layer, um the next washes are going to be a lot easier. But now, I'm going to get started on the tire dressing. Alrighty, tires, wheels, trim, all done, and it looks sick. Again, this is my first time actually detailing this car. It hasn't been detailed at all since it came off the lot since I bought it. 
Um, so first time detailing it, getting it pristine. Uh, ceramic wax went on great. I'm excited to see how that lasts. Also the tire shine, it's not dry to the touch. It's still kind of wet. I don't know if it dries over time. We'll see how that works out. But I'll, I'll update you guys on all this stuff as it goes. Maybe we make an interior video for detailing interiors. You guys got questions. This is just off the cuff. I don't know if people are interested in uh, like washing vehicles, how I wash vehicles or stuff like that. Or if you guys just like going mud and then power washing off your vehicle and calling it quits. But anyways guys, follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to hit the subscribe video for more videos. We upload every single week a brand new freaking video. Any ideas, anything you want me to be, uh, any mods you wanna see, any tips, any videos you want, do you want me to do like driving videos with the Tacoma, reviews, like let me know. And uh, follow me on my DJ YouTube channel as well. Uh, but anyways guys, uh, like the video, leave a comment down below. Taco Rick out. Oh, we'll end with some cinematic clips of the final product at the golden hour. Peace.